What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to cut arrows for your draw length. If you're 19 inch draw length, 20, 21, 22, all the way up, this is how you can cut them at home. Okay? If you don't have an arrow cutter, you know, specifically to cut arrows, that's all right. You can get creative. If you got a miter saw, that'll work too. I just happen to have a miter saw for projects I do around the house. And uh, I put a diamond cutting blade on there. And this diamond cutting blade was only like 10 bucks, Harbor Freight, Home Depot. Um, it'll cut concrete and tile. So that thing works, that thing works really good. Okay, so we're gonna cut these arrows here that I have for my customer. These are 24 inch draw length. So we're gonna measure from the knock shoulder to the insert shoulder, 24 inches and cut them. All right, so what I did here was I cut a board 32 inches, all right? Then I measured it out and I made marks 18, 19, 20, 21, all the way to 32 inches. And I even put half marks on here, 18, 18 and a half, 19, 19 and a half, 20, okay? Then, I clamped it down to my table here, okay? And this miter saw is butted up against the shoulder of the toolbox. And then I butt these arrows up against the miter saw, okay? And then I make my marks. After I make my marks, then I'll bring them over to the saw. We will cut them. We'll clean it with alcohol, or if you don't have alcohol, uh, hand sanitizer. It works good. It's got, it's got uh, alcohol in there as well, okay? Boom. Once you cut, once you make that cut, okay, you're going to have burrs on the end of your arrow, all right? Then what you want to do... Just take some sandpaper. This happens to be 100 grit. All right. You get these at Walmart or Harbor Freight. They're sheets. Okay. You want to put it on a flat surface. This miter saw is level. I put a level on it already. It's nice and level. Okay. You put your arrow on there. Deburr it. And also deburr the edge. Okay. Once you do that. Then we're going to take some of that hand sanitizer, put it on our plate, take some Q-tips, clean the OD, and also the ID. Okay, the outside diameter, inside diameter. We want to get it clean because if there's any carbon fiber inside, your inserts will not stick. Okay, we're going to glue our inserts with some JV Weld. All right, this says it sets in five minutes. This is the marine ad adhesive. Okay, this is for boats. You can find that at Academy for like 10 bucks or something like that, eight bucks. All right, I like this stuff. Um, it's strong and it's for fiberglass. And so um, I, tr I tried it on, on the my arrows and it seems to hold up great, you know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys use. I know there's a bunch of glues out there for arrows, but hey, why not think outside the box, right? I haven't had uh, these come out on my arrows, so let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Um, after we after we glue it, we're gonna put some. We're gonna mix this JB Weld up real good. You gotta mix it real well. Then we're gonna get our insert, put it around, put it in, hold it for 
30 seconds to a minute. All right, then we're gonna get a napkin and we're gonna wipe up. We're gonna wipe all that excess excess glue off, and we're gonna be good to go. All right, here we go. Let's get after it. bring you in for a closer look. Okay. See the board? It's marked in inches. All right. See this knock is right butted up against there and the shoulder of the arrow is on the edge of the board. All right, there's 24 inches. Let's mark that. Get it nice and straight. Okay, 24. All right. Boom, we got that marked, okay, let's cut it, boom, I'm going to find 24 inches, okay, we're going to bring our blade down, Put the phone down for this. It's back right there. All right. I'm gonna cut this at 24 inches. Okay. So now we have some burrs on there, right? Sandpaper. You want to get it nice and flat, spin it on there a couple times, boom. All right, and then go on the edge. Boom. All right. Still a little bird on there, ain't there? There it goes. Just stuck on there. Okay. That's what you want. Now you got a flat surface and it's D bird. The flatter it is, the more square it is. When that insert butts up against there, the better uh, the flight, the projector of that arrow is going to be. Okay. All right. Get some of that JB well. All right, we'll mix that, we're gonna squirt some right there. Mix it up. Get your good mixing on there. Okay, some hand sanitizer. Boom. We're gonna clean this arrow. All right. Clean it up real good. On the outside. Clean the inside. I just like to clean the outside. Just mainly you just need the edge, but. Here we go. Boom. Okay. Good, nice and clean. One more time, around, edge, inside, okay? 
Boom. That thing's clean, baby. Here we go. Get you some of your glue. Okay. Get your insert. Get it on there. The more the better. Okay. The more the better. Take that. There's some uh, Q tip on there. Press it in. Boom. Hold it. Take the rest of that glue off. Oh yeah. That's pretty. All right. Now this arrow is ready to go. 24 inches. It's best that you leave this drying overnight um, for 24 hours. And, uh, but hell, I've drove four hours and gone hunting the same day and these things are ready to go so but the longer you let it sit the better it is okay so i'll put these in the house tonight it says you want to put them in room temperature let's go ahead and check the measurements on this okay boom put it up against there 24 inches good to go all right so that's how you set and cut your arrows thanks for watching